In The Mandalorian Chapter 6, The Prisoner, Mando teams up with some shady individuals to help break out a prisoner from a New Republic jail. There were a ton of fun cameos in this week's episode, plus a starring role for Bill Burr, who was seen in the trailers. Here are all the cameos and best Easter eggs from Episode 6 that you may have missed. We've seen quite a few comedians have predominant roles on The Mandalorian, going all the way back to episode 1, where we saw Horatio Sands and Brian Posen pop up. In this episode, comedian Bill Burr plays Mayfeld, a mercenary who used to be an Imperial sharpshooter. There's a fun moment when Mando finds out Mayfeld worked for the Empire and seems unsure about his skills. Former Imperial sharpshooter. That's not saying much. I wasn't a stormtrooper, wise ass. Because as we all know, stormtroopers have terrible aim. When Mayfeld sees the Razorcrest, Mando's sweet ship, he says it looks like a Kanto Byte slot machine. As you may or may not remember, Kanto Byte is the casino city that appeared in The Last Jedi. One of the crew is Berg, who is a Deveronian. This species is typically involved in the criminal underworld, as that's really the only way they've been portrayed in the current Star Wars canon. The first time we saw one of these characters was in A New Hope in the Cantina. Clancy Brown, who has done voice work on Rebels and Clone Wars, and is best known as Mr. Krabs on SpongeBob SquarePants, plays Berg in this episode. We've mentioned previously that Star Wars movies and TV shows love its Twi'leks, and so do I. However, in this episode, they get the spotlight, even if one of them is a little unbalanced. This is Shion, and the person under that makeup is Natalia Tenna, who you may remember from the Harry Potter films as Tonks, or when she played Asha on Game of Thrones. Despite recent modifications, the ship is still quite a mess. Look, another comedian. The droid pilot Zero is voiced by Richard Ayoade, and he's best known for his work on the IT crowd as Moss. During the course of the episode, we see Xion has a fondness for daggers. Did you know that Twi'leks on their home planet of Ryloth were known for crafting elegant daggers? While the crew is on the Razor Crest awaiting to come out of hyperspace, Xion and Mayfeld are talking about Mando. Is he as good as they say? Ask him about the job on Alzok 3. This is a frozen planet in the Outer Rim that is mentioned in several Star Wars video games, like Star Wars Galaxies and the Old Republic. This is the first time the planet has been mentioned on screen in current canon. In one of the weirdest moments of the episode, Mayfeld wants to know what Mando looks like under the helmet. Probably like Pedro Pascal, if I had to guess. Mayfeld asks if Mando is Gungan, and then proceeds to do an impression of a Gungan, saying, Is that why you so don't want to show your face? <laughs> Does everyone in the Star Wars universe hate Gungans? This is embarrassing. In Episode 3, the descendant of a Jon Favreau voiced character from Clone Wars appeared in The Mandalorian. And during one scene in this episode, an Ardenian is seen inside a jail cell. Favreau voiced the character Rio Durant in Solo A Star Wars Story, which was the same alien species. Obviously, the prisoner couldn't be Durant because he's dead. But the first appearance of an Ardenian was in Solo, so there is your Favreau connection for the week. Fun fact, the mouse droid seen here is none other than Cheese from the Star Wars show. The New Republic soldier guarding the prison is Davin, whose outfit is really working for him. The belt matches the shoes. The actor playing him is none other than Matt Lanter, who voiced numerous characters on the Clone Wars animated series, the most notable being Anakin Skywalker. There are three big cameos at the end. The first is Dave Filoni, who created the animated series The Clone Wars and Rebels and directed two episodes of The Mandalorian. He appears as X-Wing pilot Trapper Wolf. The second cameo is this X-Wing pilot, Jib Dodger. He's played by Rick Famuyiwa, who directed this very episode. Famuyiwa also directed the movie Dope. Finally, there's the last X-Wing pilot cameo, and it's Deborah Chow as Sash Ketter. She directed episode 3 of this series and will be directing chapter 7. She'll also be helming the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus show as well. Did you catch any other references? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe for more Star Wars videos, plus an upcoming montage of Baby Yoda that you won't want to miss. This is the way.